Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. This is your latest Western Pacific weather update. Before I get into it, please hit that like and subscribe button, especially subscribe if you haven't already. It does help out the channel. All right, we got a tropical wave moving across the Philippines today. Yeah, let's actually go back to that satellite picture real quick. You can kind of see that broad area of convection right over the Philippines, bringing plenty of rainfall. We have the rainy season front back towards the north, rain in there, and this high pressure ridge just like that. Now, See, all this is going to come together. We have the southwest monsoonal flow. So as this wave runs into that, it's going to round that, that high-pressure ridge, pull this towards the north, run into the rainy season front, and that could develop a storm somewhere in here. It looks like I'm making a play here for uh, some sort of sports team, but uh, that really is what's going on, and that's why it's always important if you are a learning meteorologist, you want to know what's going on out in the world, um, always look at the satellite first get you an idea of the uh, overall synoptic layout and everything so first off this area has been bringing plenty of rainfall for southern luzon Visayas, parts of mindanao uh you need the precipitation as these easterlies continue to dominate but there is kind of this troughing right in there you're gonna get that flow wrapping and around it and i do think we're gonna see um if not a low pressure area maybe a tropical depression or as we go ahead through the weekend uh if something does form it's gonna be one of these more monsoonal gyre type of lows probably not a wrapped up tight center of circulation you can see that here on sunday and the monday pushing off towards hainan increasing rain for if runs into vietnam hainan and also in hong kong you're going to see that uh, southerly flow wrap around there plus we're watching another tropical wave towards the south and east that could be uh bringing another shot of precipitation too so there's a few areas to, to talk about here this is what i'm talking about though those showers kind of pushing through you see how that moisture comes on shore in pelawan even over towards manila sunday into monday and then our low poles north and those winds really cruise on shore uh for the uh, hong kong area really just kind of blasting into your area too so there is uh, a few regions to talk about a few areas to watch but of course i'm gonna keep you posted in fact uh just pull up this graphic real quick for you uh tropical tidbits L love this site because uh they just got so much good levi colin runs this great site well here's a look at the uh West Philippine Sea off towards the Gulf of Hainan. Yeah, you got that low kind of wrapping up right in there. Could bring some of that southwesterly flow. And also, remember yesterday, about 300 hours out, we were looking at the potential of a storm in the Philippine Sea. And this is why I always say don't trust that long-range guidance all too much because this, now there's a broad low monsoonal low in the West Philippine Sea versus uh, towards the east of Luzon. So, <laughs> regardless if we've been getting day in and day out that long-term forecast so climate prediction center still expects you know uh, an above average chance for a tropical cyclone uh, development um by the end of the month anyways you know what today is june 21st or 22nd depending on where you are it is the first day uh, or 20th 21st yeah uh first day of summer <laughs> and uh this is officially when uh, the sun rays are directly at the Tropic of Cancer. And so in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the first day of summer. Southern Hemisphere, it is the first day of winter, obviously. And also it is the longest day of the year. For example, in Manila, sunrise at 527, sunsets at 628. About 13 hours. It's not that, uh, it's not like in the Northern latitudes where you get, you know, 24 hours of daylight. So yeah <laughs> let's say we're fly over here happy first day of summer anyways our flyover yeah we still got that chance of some showers here on our saturday friday into saturday but i think more so for the west coast of luzon and mindoro i'm uh, gonna be seeing those showers really kick up out here especially in the sunday too um yeah there's there's plenty to talk about here actually let's just take a look at the wind flow uh, over the waters and this is another good way to give you an idea of what's going on with this low trying to develop towards the north and you can just see that wrapping up and with the overall flow coming around i really like that graphic it gives you a good synoptic layout too of what's happening in your neck of the woods anyways i mentioned at the beginning of the update to uh, give me a subscribe but a big thanks for everybody on patreon who supports the channel if you if you like these updates just take a moment check out our patreon um you don't have to but it does help so if you're feeling generous today and you're like you know what rob puts uh, these updates out every day i want to show him some appreciation um you can just check it out you don't like i said i don't you don't have to i don't i feel i've been doing this for several years doing the patreon i still feel guilty asking even though a lot of you were just like saying i don't know anyways it, it helps it does uh that's all i got for today if you have any questions comments or suggestions please let me know
And of course, number one thing, as always, is stay safe out there, friends. Bye.